Hi guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to make with you this beautiful festive uh, recipe called the Melted Brie with Basil and Lemon Pesto. It features in the festive flavour cookbook that you can see behind me on the shelf uh, and it's also on your cookiedo.com.au which is where we're cooking from today. This is such a simple recipe, it is it can be used any time of year. It doesn't need to be Christmas time. We are doing Christmas in July, which is why we're doing it now. But of course, any entertaining, even if you just feel like a bit of special stuff, this is the recipe for you. And this lemon pesto is absolutely divine. The lemon takes it to a next level. So let's get started. I've got some hints and tips to share with you on the way today. So first of all, it tells us to place a jug onto the mixing bowl lid and then, now this is really important if you've got a TM31, not so much of a big deal for a TM5 and a TM6 because you can actually weigh at the same time as it is um, mixing. So that's perfect. When I click on next, it says 30 grams. Now I'm actually gonna do a half batch of pesto today. So that's a little tip for you guys as well, is it's well worth, I think, making just a half batch, unless you wanna do two circles of brie, and then it's enough for two, which I'd highly recommend if you're entertaining. Make the full batch of pesto, make steam at the same time two of the brie or the camembert circles, and that's going to feed a crowd, it's amazing. But for making one circle, um, we just want one, we want half a batch of pesto. So that's my biggest starting tip today if you're just feeding your family uh, or maybe a small crowd then just do half a batch of pesto or you're going to have a jar left at the end so I need to know later on that I need 15 grams of oil that I'm going to weigh in at the end okay I'm not going to worry about dirtying a jug doing that but if you've got a 1031 you'll need to do that Okay, first things first, half a lemon, zest only, no piffed. So to do zesting in a thermomix, mix, we literally get our peel up and we peel strips of lemon. I've got four little strips of lemon here. Don't go too deep with your peeling, otherwise you get that bitter underneath bit. You don't want that in your, in your yummy pesto. Okay, now we want 50 grams of parmesan, so we're doing 25 today. Um, and don't include the skin on that. You know how parmesan has that skin? Don't include that. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit more. I've got a little bit more here, but everyone loves cheese, right? So it's a little bit over half. Next up, two garlic cloves. Now you guys have seen me watch um, watch me make garlic paste uh, recently. This is my garlic paste. So one teaspoon of garlic paste goes in, and now we put on the lid, and it's going to combine this all down. Ten seconds, speed nine. <laughs> you can hear that was done a little bit early so I could have aborted it by pushing on the silver button to abort the mission but we just it's okay I just let it go that's all right scrape down the sides with a mixing bowl with a spatula have a look at that can you guys see how amazing that looks in there so there's a little bit of cheese that's now come up the side so with a thermomix you never need to buy grated cheese again you can grate your own if you don't have one and you're out there watching that's definitely a, an advantage Cheese, um, not particularly parmesan, but the tasty cheese has a nasty coating on it that uh, can really upset tummies. So I'm just scraping down the side so it becomes part of my pesto. Now it's asking for 40 grams of lemon juice, which is one lemon approximately. Now here's a tip for you. Now with lemons, use your spatula. It's the most amazing tool to juice your lemon. You just put it inside and we're aiming for 20 grams because we're doing half. And around it goes. There we go, done. 20 grams of lemon. You could use lime or you could even shortcut and use vinegar if you'd prefer. So definitely an option there. Okay, 100 grams of roasted pine nuts. This is important. You do not want to have raw ones. Otherwise, it just has the wrong texture and it doesn't have the richness of flavor that the roasting process brings. So um, all I do with mine is I put them on one of my rose gold trays and I put them in the oven uh, on 180 degrees for about 12 minutes, gave them a shake and then five minutes longer. You'll need to do them a little bit in advance so you don't want them hot in here or it'll melt your cheese, okay? 20 fresh basil leaves. Okay, so I've just got these prepared and ready. Um, do wash them beforehand, dry them on a paper towel, and you just want the leaves. The stems are a bit bitter, you don't want those. So I'm just doing 10 grams for the half batch. Add a pinch of salt to taste and half a pinch today for me. Remember, parmesan has quite a saltiness to it by nature, so you don't want too much salt in there. Don't go too heavy on that. It's better to add it later if you need it. Okay, all if I need, and now around speed four for five seconds. Speed five, four seconds. 
Okay, you can hear that combined well. Now it's gonna we're gonna scrape down the sides like it asks us to. Okay, can you guys see that? How good does that look? Everything's gonna happen a little bit quicker today because I've only got the half batch in there, all right? Now I think the next step is our emulsification process. Now this is when we add our oil in. So it's saying without my measuring cup, and it says turn the speed selector to speed three. Meanwhile, follow the next step. So this is when I'm gonna need my 15 grams of olive oil. Oops, hang on, let's go back to do this. Now, oh, just a tip for that. Did you guys see how I touched the screen to change it? You can also push the silver button to rotate through the different functions. Okay, up to speed three. Now, I, to bring out my scales while my Thermomix is moving, if you've got a TM5, click press on your scale button. On a six, we've got our three dots. We'll just go scales. And now we weigh in our 15 grams. Now you'll know it go, you'll notice it goes up in the five gram increments. Okay, it's not the one gram that we're accustomed to. That's because there's typically food in there moving, so your scales will have a variation. That's okay. Okay, close that off. As I'm going to close, there we go. Then go next. And we'll just stop that. Let's go next. Transfer pesto into a bowl and set aside. So our pesto is literally complete. In that whole couple of minutes, it is done and dusted. Let me show you how amazing and creamy that looks. So that emulsification process has done its job. That looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to now actually put this on my serving tray because in 12 minutes time, my brie will be ready to put on top of that beautifully. So I'll show you this in a second. Scrape out as much as you can. This is one of my favorite spatulas from the Mix It Shop. I do love the TM6 spatula that comes with our new model machine. Um, but this is also one of my favorites that I bought with my TM5. I think they're $11.95 from the Mix It Shop, maybe $12. Um, and just scrapes the bowl out, as you can see, beautifully. Okay. So what I've done here is I'm just putting it on my beautiful tray that I'm going to sit my wheel on once it's steamed. So there's no need to go to the shops and buy those ones that you pop in the oven with the already pre-done, you know, ready to soften your bria. We're doing that ourselves. So let's click on the next step and it takes us through. Place 500 grams of water into the bowl. Scales are going up for us, so we'll know when to stop. Close enough. Now place the aroma in position. So we put our lid back on and we put our Varoma in place. So the Varoma is made up of three components. We've got a base, in here you've got a tray, I'll show you in a second, and then you've got your lid. All dishwasher safe, by the way. On it goes. Then it asks you to line your var Varoma dish. Your dish is your top one up here with baking paper. So let me just grab this off because I know you guys can't see very well there. It's a bit out of my camera range. It's not wet, it's just a piece there. The, the idea being it just uh, gives you something to lift off later, so it makes it easy to handle this absolutely delicate brie that by this the end of this cook time will be all gooey inside and just held together by the outside layer. So baking paper, brie, tomatoes, okay? On that goes, lid goes on. It tells you to put your unwrapped uh, brie or, or camembert on there. It tells you then to put uh, the the cherry tomatoes, I think they're supposed to go underneath, but it doesn't matter. And then 14 minutes for Roma speed one. And that, friends, is how simple it is to make a beautiful melted brie in your Thermomix. Now, I'm going to make some crackers to go with this, and I'm going to put them in the links below so you can see my favorite cracker recipes. Crackers are so incredibly simple in the Thermomix, so go watch those videos and check out how easy they are to make so that you don't have to buy them. Anyway, bye for now. Enjoy the videos. I do hope you'll make it, and when you do, please comment and share and tell your friends and family about how easy your Thermomix is making your life in your kitchen. And please do, um, if you haven't checked out already, check out the YouTube channel and subscribe and like uh, so that you can get the updates daily and learn more about your Thermomix. This is really a place for a video library for you guys so that you can be inspired, learn hints and tips along the way no matter which model machine you've got. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.